The newest standard cutting heads from ProCut for PFM 9.1, PFM 9.2, and A10 Warthog all use two hole tool arms to increase the range of rotors that can be machined with these lathes. From the factory, the tool arms will be located in the shortest position to adequately reach most vehicles on the market, including some larger dual wheel trucks like the Ford F550. However, there are a select few vehicles that use a very wide friction surface area for either high performance or heavy load applications. These vehicles, like the BMW X5 or larger trucks, will require a longer tool arm to machine the entire braking surface. For that reason, ProCut added a second longer hole position to increase the range. Switching from one hole to the other is a simple task but requires some basic knowledge of the components and mechanics of the design to perform effectively. To switch arms, some basic tools are required to complete the job. First, remove the cutting head lockdown lever, washer, cover plate, and pinch block. Then, remove the tool arm tension spring with a pair of pliers. Next, remove the nylon lock nut that holds down each tool arm and remove the two Belleville washers, taking special care to see how they are stacked. Once the arms are removed, clean any debris from the tool holder plate and the underside of the tool arms with a mild abrasive like Scotch-Brite. While the arms are off, it's a good idea to make sure the tool arm studs are also tight. Use the six millimeter wrench from the tool kit to tighten the studs. Now remove the plastic debris cap from the second position hole and reinstall on the short position hole. The plastic caps are there to keep machining debris from building up. Reinstall tool arms in desired position and reinstall Belleville washers. When installed correctly, they must be small sides together to create an air gap between the washers, not nested. Reinstall nylon lock nuts finger tight. Only reuse nuts if nylon is still intact, otherwise replace with new nuts to ensure that they will stay in place. Then install tool arm tension spring. Now tighten nuts with a 13 mm socket or wrench only until tool arm just stays in place. Then loosen just enough for the spring to overcome the tension and return the tool arm to neutral position. Reinstall pinch block, cover, flat washer, and lock lever. This is a good time to check or rotate the cutting tips. When changing cutting tips, be certain the tip pocket is clean of debris and that the cutting tip sits fully flat and into the triangle of the pocket before tightening screw. Of course, also make sure the numbering dots are facing up and always start on dot number one with a fresh tip. Now you're ready to cut. <music>